guys, I'm Patty and this is Little Red Southern Kitchen. Today we're making a white veggie lasagna. You can add chicken to this if you wanted, but we're going meatless. It's not Monday, but it's Sunday, so this is what you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need lasagna, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. While I'm showing you that, my son work, our son works at uh, Costco, and yesterday we went and I found this 20 piece set of filled spices, spice rack, for $9.99. And you get five years spice replacement. So I think that was pretty cool. All right, on with the story. I've got some onion, an egg. This is a 15 ounce container of ricotta. Some people use cottage cheese, but I only use ricotta. I've got some minced garlic. I've got some just plain old Alfredo sauce. I've got three 16 ounce jars. And for my veggies, I'm using this Normandy blend. It's sliced carrot, zucchini, yellow squash, broccoli, and cauliflower. For your cheeses, I'm using parm, mozzarella, and I'm going to put a little bit of Swiss in it just because we like Swiss cheese. We just ground these, uh, shredded these two up. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go boil my noodles. I'm going to put these in the microwave and unthaw them and soften them up and drain them. And then we'll be back with the rest of the story. Okay, I am back. Let me show you what I did. I opened all of the um, Alfredo sauce and I added the garlic and the onion to it. He did it, cooked it up a little bit, not much. I put these in the microwave. I did put add salt to these, so that's where your salt went. I've got my foil lasagna pan that I sprayed with cooking spray. I'm going to show you something I learned a few years ago. Now, these aren't, these are almost al dente, not perfect. And first, I want to tell you, obviously, they don't make no boil lasagna noodles anymore. I went to four stores, and they did not have any of it. So, I had to do this. But a few years ago, this is right whenever I met Tony, I found a place about, you know how you really don't have a pot big enough for the lasagna noodles whenever they're so hard. So you put them in a pan and you put hot, very hot water on them. And you let them sit. So, alright. And it works. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up the ricotta. I am going to use all of this. And if there's any left over, I can add, make uh, shells or something with it. Or manicotti which I haven't made in a long time. I'm gonna crack your egg. Beat it up. I'm gonna add some pepper to it. With a lot of pepper. I do not like powdered pepper. And take some of the corn, not all of it, you don't even really have to do this, add that in there, and a little bit of the Italian seasoning, these spices smell so fresh, this is the first time I've used any of it, A couple of them I've never used. I've never used the Herbs de Provence. I've never used savory, and I've never used marjoram. But I've noticed that in the, uh, it shows the ingredients for the Italian seasoning, and marjoram's one of the um, ingredients in it. So I will do a test on that. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some sauce in the bottom. I'm 
Oh, pretty driving to 375. What do I want to put on there? Oh, yeah. I did notice that some of these veggies are extremely big. But... And I did drain them, but and yes, I washed my hands. A little bit of corn. Some mice. If you haven't watched my um, KitchenAid shredder slicer attachment, that's the best thing ever. We don't really buy shredded cheese, but we do buy the parm shredded. As I said, this is optional, the Swiss cheese. Tony and I love Swiss cheese, and I think it'll give it a good flavor. I didn't want to add any... yellow cheese to it, I just didn't... Yeah, I think I'm gonna use everything. Maybe a couple of uh, lasagna noodles left over, but that's all right. I want to thank you and welcome you to my channel. If you're new here, take a look around. See what I got to offer. I do a lot of southern cooking. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing now. I do a lot of southern cooking and... I think that my instructions are pretty much for everybody. I am a home cook, but I do like to take shortcuts. And that's allowed. I'm not going to really say that this is all that healthy because it is a lot of cheese and Alfredo, but you know what? It's meatless unless you want to add a chicken to it. I contemplated doing it and I'm like, nah. <laughs> and Nikita's not happy. She's in here in the kitchen in her little ba baby bed watching us, so. She is, as we, I said, she is spoiled. So she lets herself be known whenever, wherever. There's a lot of zucchini in here, I'll tell you. All right, let me get back to what I was saying. But take a look around, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have y'all in the family. I try to do videos at least once a week. But I'm trying to go five days a week, but right now with Nikita, taking care of her is like having a six-month-old baby in the house. I don't say a newborn because a newborn, they just want to sleep a lot. 
and she does sleep a lot, but when she wants, she wants. So we have to take her outside to potty and bring her over to the water and feed her. Her appetite is great. So, she just can't really walk. She can't walk at all, I can't say really walk. But she's sitting up better now from a, a reclining, so she's moving a little bit, but we we don't want her to move a whole lot. I'm gonna pour this. Oops, that nasty offshoot. Oh well. What am I supposed to do now? Oh. More of this. You know, I've never made uh, lasagna roll-ups, little roll-ups, and I think I might try. I've never done this before, so... I mean, I've made lasagna before, but I've never made a veggie lasagna. Yeah, this is gonna be the last one. I'm gonna have a little bit of stuff left over. Yeah, tell them, Nikita, say hello! My name is Nikita Louise. I'm a 13-year-old long-haired Dotson, and I'm sport rotten. Y'all want to see me? Come and see me. This is Nikita. Look at Daddy. Oh, now she's shy. Hello, Bubby. You want to just say nothing now? Uh-oh, here and comes the little one. That's eight-year-old McKenzie. All right, let's get back to this. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this uh, ricotta off. Yeah, I did a little bit too much uh, lasagna noodles, but I think I know what I'm gonna do with those. Yeah, that's our babies. Our son's 29, so he's grown. Him and his wife actually live in Charleston right now, but they're getting ready to leave us and move to High Point, North Carolina. Nathan is able to transfer his job with Costco. So that's good. Nobody asked you, Nikita. So that's good. He'll have a job there. There's two places that's available. Cliff. I know this thing's gonna be heavy. Okay, I'm gonna do something here.
Yeah, Mr. Tony's gonna have to uh, put this in the oven for me and get it out. That's a preheat oven, 375. If I didn't, there you go. Mine's ready now. Okay. At the moment, I'm not. Oh, you want a little bit more than that? I'm not gonna put any more cheese on the top because I do have to put aluminum foil over here to cover it. I will tell you about this aluminum foil. About five or six years ago, we went to Costco and I bought a package of three of the Reynolds wrap. And I am just, this is the last one of them after five or six years. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the oven covered for about 30, 30 minutes. And then I'll take the top off and add some more mozzarella and let it cook for another 15. Then we'll take it out and let it cook for 15. But we'll bring you back between steps. See you in a few. Okay, guys. Sorry, I did not stop during the, uh, whenever I uncovered it. I cooked it for 35 minutes. Then I uncovered it and then I cooked it for another 15. But I just got it out of the oven. I did run it under the broiler for a very short time just to brown, brown the cheese a little. I didn't want it extremely browned. Now I'm gonna let it sit out for about 15, 20 minutes. We're having um, five cheese French, five cheese Texas toast with it. So we'll be back. All right guys, I didn't want to get the first piece out or any of the pieces out with all the on camera because it would be funky, but that actually turned out so good and that's pretty. Like I said, with it, we've got some five cheese Texas toast. And if you like what I did, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you in the family. Leave me a comment. Tell me something you'd like for me to cook. And share it out on your social media. I'd love to grow my channel. Y'all have a great evening and good week. Supper's ready. Bye.